Ismela bin Hajj. I'm an agribusiness industry engineer. Uh, I graduated from Hassan II Institute of uh, Agronomy and uh, Veterinary Medicine, and I work as an inspector at the Sanitary and uh, Food Safety National Office. Uh, and at the same time, I pursue my PhD in a field that I adore and love so much, which is biotechnology. Uh, I am one of the five Moroccan women who were selected uh, this year by the U.S. Department of State to represent our beloved country in the Silicon Valley in uh, specific and uh, uh, in the U.S. in general. Uh, and uh, we've also had the chance to be hosted and mentored uh, in companies that align with our interests and the professional background. I personally was hosted by uh, the 23andMe company. Uh, it's a company that offers DNA tests uh, to find out about the origins of your ancestors with high uh, accuracy, and that gives the probability uh, of the health problems that you might face in the future, so that you would have a healthier lifestyle. I would say that this experience is a lifetime changing one for me because uh, not only we had the chance and the honor to represent Morocco uh, in the Bay Area, but also to meet other uh, emerging leaders from 20 uh, different nationalities. Uh, they provided us a lot of uh, training uh, and workshops uh, to develop our soft skills, uh, to enhance our leadership skills, uh, to boost our self-confidence, and also to advance our careers. Together with the other uh, alumni and the other emerging leaders, uh, we plan to organize uh, trainings for younger generation of girls uh, who are interested in the STEM field and uh, to share with them and to inspire them. And for this, we are considering different options, whether to use a uh, maybe a YouTube channel or different blogs or uh, create a website or uh, an account that can help these, uh, these young uh, girls uh, to achieve their dreams. Uh, my advice for girls who are interested in biotechnology specifically or in the STEM field in general is to believe in themselves and don't listen to uh, those voices or those people who tell you that you cannot do something and it's okay to be uh, like uncomfortable in certain situations because that's when you learn the most and that's where you develop yourself the most. Um, uh, it's okay, uh, sometimes you will get the chance to find about some uh, opportunities and you will think that you're not good enough for those opportunities. It's not the case, just go for it.